Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Grania. On today's episode, we get to be part of the Luke village, but first off, look what I found. There is a weapon store here, actually. <gasps> yes! Okay. Justin. Hello, Wel welcome. We've got everything for our hunting gear uh, to medicinal herbs. If you're buying, have a look around. If you're selling, come talk to me. Magic. Okay, so. Uh, you have no mana eggs. Wait, what? Um, why do I have no mana eggs? Where is Rem's house? I guess I put them into here. Slash in place. Get item. There they are. We're full. Um, let's stash some items then. For example, uh, let's stash that one. And the wheat. And we'll stash the knife and the whip. Get item. My eggs. Good. Justin is about to become the avatar. Are you ready? Wrong one. Um, that one. Yeah. Black one. Welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Uh, not what I want. That one. Bye. Okay. Wind. Justin. Cool. Water. Justin. Good. Earth. Justin. Nice. Alright. So he now knows all of the four basic, um, things. And because of that, as soon as they level up, he gets to learn Thunder, Blizzard, Forest, and Explosion too. So, he technically now has access to eight different uh, magic things. But also, we got so much gold. It's time to get some upgrades. Um, okay. First off, an obsidian knife. Plus 20 attack. Um, I think Fina can use that one. And we don't have a good knife for her. She will buy that. Um, we have a bow. Sue could use that, technically. She can also get that staff. Plus 22, that's pretty good. Wood axe. Plus 23. Pretty good. We have a hatchet that does plus 22. Um, yeah, let's get that one. Uh, who will buy? Just buy. There we go. That's kind of neat. Let's have a look at this stuff. Okay, a, a fairy rope. Okay, 10 defense, that's pretty neat. A snail shell. Better than what everybody... All of these are, like... Better than what everybody else has. <laughs> Except for, like, movement speed. These are not better in movement speed. But... That looks awesome. Should we just get three of those? Trade, what do you have? Um... I guess we'll trade for that. Uh, I guess we'll trade for that. Lieutenant gloves. I guess we trade for that. Everybody has the same shield now. Sweet. Um, the fairy robe. Let's trade over here, maybe. The uniform? That one was the best one we have. Uh, yeah, let's just get everybody that as well. Got a climbing hat. Plus five defense. He has a pirate. Ah, oh, should we keep the pirate hat just for the lulls? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Okay, general items. Um, put all enemies to sleep by bubbles. Wow. Sap book? Ooh. Cool. Firewood? Sweet. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll get any of that. Does... Do we still have a whip for Fina now? Did I get rid of that? Mist whip. No, she still has that. Cool. Now, I want to have a look at the moves for Fina, actually. Um, yeah, the knife is at level 3. <laughs> the whip is at level 15. She learns the uh, highest whip skill that she can learn at the moment at level 14, so we'll go on that. Let's level the knife a little bit with her. Uh, Sue um, hasn't had a bow in a while. Yeah, we can probably give her a bow. Level that for a little bit. She'll she'll learn a new one 
A level 10. Let's get a bow. Let's not bow. Uh, no, no. Just, just, just buy. For her. Good. Um, anything else? I think we'll just head to uh, the elder. And speak to him. What's up, nerd? You really brought back the nectar of the gods. Then I have no choice. Now, you all must drink some of that nectar. Huh? Dr drink, drink the nectar? Once the nectar enters your mouth, the god of light will accept you as one of us. You could just put the jar to your lips without really drinking. It's the symbolism, that's all. Or you could simply be on your way. We wouldn't mind at all, you know. I mean... You could just put the ball... Uh, let, let, let's just pretend to drink it like this. Yes, the God of Light now regards you as one of us. However... Please take my friendly advice and give up on your plans. Toss away those unreasonable ideas. What's going on here? Unreasonable ideas? I heard from Rem that you want to cross the end of the world. To do that, you have to get out of the fo uh, out of the f mist, the forest. Endless though it seems. That's right. Doesn't the uh, mist clearing nut work for that? We would need something like that. Hmm. Those nuts are very valuable. We only got a few in the village. They can't be given away so easily. Take my friendly advice and do not attempt the crossing. As I yawn again. Man, making doing this voice just makes me yawn. It's weird. Man, how stingy. All we hear is, please quit. Please don't do it. That's what you look like, elder man. Please, please just quit. Young man with the rude mouth. We are not being stingy. The misclearing nuts are very vital. Vitally important to us as residents of the Misty Forest. They are treasures that our ancestors received from the Icarians. The Icarians, he said. You mean the Icarians from the Angelo legend? Sir, do you mean the Angelo legends are told here in Luke? Pl please, we want to hear them all. Oh, well, I, I suppose it couldn't hurt to tell them. It'll take a while, though. According to an old tale from the... Uh, do I have to make the voice all the time? No, man. <gasps> According to an old tale from this village, in the distant past, the world was bathed in light. A glorious world. The Icarians were protected. They did not suffer old age or illness. It was a peaceful world, they say. Then our ancestors stole the wings of the Icarians. Yeah. Because they wanted to be Icarians too. I hope I don't make you yawn with that too. Man, sure making me yawn. But this was not a natural thing for the people who had never had wings. And when those wings were attached to the backs of our ancestors, they turned black and blocked the sun from the village. Plants died first, then the animals. We almost lost the light of hope. What a horrible time that was. To keep the darkness from spreading, the Icarians build a huge wall around us to shut our world from theirs. That wall is the end of the world? Yes. That wall meant that our ancestors were left with the world that remained on this side of the wall. The Icarians were nice enough to toss our ancestors some special nuts which can remove the darkness. Although the darkness was replaced by mist, we've since used these mist-clearing nuts to light our way in the forest. Without mist-clearing nuts, even we Luke folk would not be able to go through the misty forest. Wow, you got the nuts from the Icarians. No, I want one even more. So, what happened to the wall on the other side of the wall? <laughs> Gotta breathe a little bit. Man, no, no, that, that shows me... Hmm. Should have put in a strand on my voice more than um, the other nerd. What, what was his name? The the uh, oh yep, Rem you remember him? The weird voice. Yeah, that one. That one is not as straining as this one. Today the world on the other side is still a happy and peaceful place. 
They say that when we die, our souls return to the other side, to the ancient land of happiness. Hmm, what a mysterious legend. So are you folks really serious about climbing the wall? Please take my advice and don't do it. No one has ever returned from there. Please rest and at least for the day. You may stay at Rem's house. Rem's parents would like to thank you for rescuing their son. I'm dead tired. How about you, Justin? Ah, uh, yeah. Let's let's rest up today. All right, then. Let, let, let's go. Let's no longer do that voice. Ew! Before I fall asleep talking. Man, weapon store. What is around this house? This one was it, right? Hey, nerd. Good news. Hey, come stay at, at, at my house today, okay, huh? Please. Well, all right. Yeah, I'm saved. You're saved. Oh yeah, well you see, if you didn't come, I'll that'll punish me. What? Daddy Ram? Why why would you? Oh, so you got a sp permission? That means you can be our guests now. Please, make yourself at home. We are very grateful for what you've done for Ram. Still, we need to think of a proper punishment for Ram since he broke the law of the village. Yeah, I guess he kinda broke the law. <laughs> Did you finish? Uh, talking with the village chief. It won't be easy traveling to the end of the world. After all you've done for Rem, at, at least the least thing we can do is offer you a meal and a place to stay for the night, okay? Um, eat and stay overnight. That's what we'll do. Good. You should eat to help get back your strength for traveling. I fixed a nice big meal as token of my gratitude for rescuing Rem. Oh boy, my mom's cooking is the best. Well, if it's based on the nuts that you gave us, no thank you. Alright, so. What do we got? That village chi chief is so pessimistic, huh, Fina? Yeah, he certainly wasn't supportive of what we're doing, but... He must think about his own position. He can't help bearing the final responsibility. We should be thankful that he let us stay in his village. B Buffy is weighing in. Okay, Puffy. Don't get so excited. It's all right. Here, you can have some too. I understand why Puffy makes such a fuss. Rem's mother's cooking up some delicious food. Ah, I just love this pie. It reminds me of Aunt Lily's cooking, eh, Justin? We should be thankful that he let uh, let us stay in his village, but we're not equipped to cross through the misty forest. What could we do? Okay, we had that one. Yeah, what what you doing, Puffy? You know better than to sneeze when your mouth's full, really. Puffy's got a runny nose now. Maybe call it chill in that mist. Okay. Now, the mist in the misty forest has made our clothing all wet. I can't wait to take a hot bath. I'm sure, sure, I'll join you. But no peeking, Justin. Or maybe Justin would like to join us in the bath. Well, well um, uh, just kidding, Justin. Boy, Justin, you just believe whatever people say. Unless. Colonel, we found them. To the north northwest, there's a humanoid village at Bearing 1-0. The platoon trailing the humanoid child has also reported that the forest mist is clearing. All according to plan, Colonel. Don't forget that our objective is to obtain what we spoke of. We've just begun. Prepare to have to affect personal drop. Yes, sir, with permission, sir. Lieutenant Lean, you will be in command. Yes, Colonel. We shall obtain the last piece without fail, sir. It is you who will be able to feel its presence. Find it. Yes, sir. Feel its presence. Oh, people do not sound happy. What was that sound? It sounded kind of like a train's locomotive. Uh-oh. It also seems that the sound is getting louder. What the heck is it? I saw it from my window. It's some huge black thing that, that floats across the sky. 
I saw soldiers like the ones we, uh, who took me away. Lots of them came out of that thing and ran to the mountains. The Kali forces. But, but how did they find us? We're in Luke villages. I, w I was wondering that myself. Anyway, let, let's ha let's have a look. Oh no. Oh, we didn't save. Oh no, Chief! Some people are going to the God of, God of Light Mount. They're, they're gonna steal the icon. What will we do, Chief? So that I can protect our village. If they steal it, our village is kaput. Ah, <laughs> uh, glorious. Glorious. It's kaput. Yep. If that icon gets stolen, then... And then I, I don't know what we'll, what we'll do. Chief, it, it sounds like these when we need your wisdom the most. First, everyone just calm down. Now, we have no choice but to fight to protect our icon. However, we have been living all by ourselves here in Luke Village. We've never fought any battles before. So even if we do fight this time, chances are that we all will be killed. Oh, this is not an easy decision. Hey, Chief! Yo! Hey, Chief! Let us handle this! Uh, if they're Goliath soldiers, we know how we can drive them off. What? J Justin, just wait a minute. Justin, are you okay? What? Why did you have us... Why did you have to volunteer us? No one in this village knows how to fight, so the only other option for us to handle this... So, the only other option is for us to handle this. That's why. Besides, aren't we Ram's friends? Ram's home village is facing a crisis, right? So of course we must do what we can do. Yeah. Friends? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We are Ram's friends. Okay, let's let's chase those root dudes away. Oh, what brave youngsters you are. You'll fight to save this village? We must ask you to do what you can to protect our sacred icon, our god of light statue. Uh, yeah, just just see us. Oh, dude, your voice makes makes me sleepy. Yeah. Okay, gang, let's just get moving. Okay. Back to bed. Um. Oh, where's where, where's mommy Rem? Can we can we not save now? I guess we can save outside. Never mind. Um. What did I want to talk about? There was something I wanted to mention. Uh. Oh yeah. Uh, Lean was supposed to feel it, right? When when she gets close enough. Is she talking about? Well, are they talking about the statue of the God of Light? Where's the safe point? Here it is. I was wondering. Yeah, I don't know. But I mean, I'll, I'll guess we can just go back up the mountain. I mean, we went there last episode, and it was pretty easy. We're going there again. Should be uh, no problem. Here we go. There's the mountain foot. Oh. Hey! I've been ordered to stop anyone from entering here. I'll use force if necessary. Okay. So. Justin just learned a bunch of new moves, right? And uh, we gotta level those. Let's have a look. Ooh! We can now do burn flame. We will do so immediately. Um, Fina wants to level up her knife. Burn out. So yeah, uh, this obviously only trains fire. But it's the first time we can do... The first and only time we can do our level 2 spell. So we will. Attack that one with Sue. And then Justin. How about... Um... Justin, how about you show us one of your new moves? Look at that! How about we do Howl? Howl is the level 1 wind move. Blast! Blast! Has a bigger AoE range than Burn has. There we go. That's a good start for leveling. Might be able to pull another one off if we're fast enough. If so, we shall. Um, then the uh, level 1 water move is the same thing that uh, Sue has, so that's a healing move. 
The first level one um, Earth move is um, a buff. Everybody gets higher defense in our party. Sweet, level up. Mm, what a mess! Our glorious Scarlet soldiers. Yeah, go away. Wait, more already? I barely took a step forward. No one, and I mean no one, may pass through here. I'll stop anyone, e everyone, and anyone, and everyone. All right, I'm all sergeants. What a fight! Yeah, so I think um, I, I probably should have a look at the moves of Justin and see when he learns the first new moves. But I guess we'll do Howl for now. Level up went first. Blast! Very good. Obviously, it being just a level 1 skill doesn't do too much damage. But it's a start. Um, let's see, that one has the most health still. Do not attack that one. Heavy blow. Oh boy. Okay. Um, let's go and do Howl again on that one. I could have done the other one. I wonder if we would have hit all three then. Nah, probably not. Good too, though. That's good. Okay, Fina. You'll... Kill that one. The other two are defending. We don't care about those, then. So just attack. I guess while we have the time, let's do dig in. To level up Earth a little bit. Oh, that was a great, great announcement for your spell, dude. Did you see that? That was a diamond. Mm -hmm. That means we're we have really strong defense now. Like a diamond. Suckers. Okay, so wind is already 60 uh, at 64 experience out of 100. What a fool! Why did I do it? What a mess! Okay, let's have a look at the moves of Justin. <laughs> look at all the things we can learn now. Yes! Oh, I love seeing that. Oh, look at all that. Oh man, that's so cool. That's so cool. Okay, so let's look at the spells. Um, if we get wind to be level four, we'll learn a mix of fire and wind. I forgot what which one that is. And then, if Earth would be level 7, we would learn our level 1 explosion skill. Mm-hmm. Oh man, this has me so excited. We see all the moves we can learn now. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I'll find you now. What are the rest of them doing? Can't they stop you rats from passing through? S -s Sergeant, do your job quickly. Obviously, that, that vibe was no problem at all. Let's head for the next one. Where are you? All you from Palm? What are you doing here? You don't look like you're willing to cooperate with us. Now, why would Palmians be allied with humanoids? Humanoids? I mean, humanoids, right? <laughs> uh, you know, you're really wasting my time, guys. My orders are regarded to anyone who comes here as an enemy prepared to fight. Alright, alright, I'll beat you too. We must get the final piece to him. Final piece? Man, that, that that took a while. But sure. Let's run up the mountain. We remember how. Through here. And then there. I think. And then over here. Just like that. We made it to the top. Cool. Um, Justin, by the way, is completely out of um, magic points now. So there's that. Look, Justin. They got a light! Huh? From, from the air, those creeps? You're hauling away the statue, we've got to stop them! Wait! Give, give that statue back! Justin, what are you doing here? Oh, you're the one to help me at the base. Justin, why did you come here? Fina! Sis? Lean, is that you? Fina! Uh, what? 
Fina, you call her sis. Is, is this your sister, Fina? Lean! It is you! Why are you doing such a thing? Fina, I... Uh, I wanted you to be the last person to know about this. The fact is... I'm a Galai soldier, Lieutenant Lean of the Mullen Division. At this time, the statue is being confiscated for a military operation. Goodbye, Fina. Don't go near the forces again. I don't want to. I don't want you to get hurt. Lean, wait. Why are you doing this? Oh no, the God of Light. I won't let you do it. Here goes. Justin. Give back the statue, Lean. It belongs to the Luke village. Why didn't you take Fina and run away? After all the risk I took in letting you escape from the frontline base. Stop complaining and get back the statue. Sorry, I can't do that. I've got to take the statue back. The honor of the Mullen Division is at stake. Get off of the Spirit Stone. S Spirit Stone? Don't make me force you off. I can't let you fool up our plans anymore. What? Wait. Why do you call it a spirit cell? What? What? What's this? Oh no. That. This light is. Oh no. The light is from the spirit stone. Wow. So that's what happens. Uh oh. What now? So I am to understand that it is Justin who had the spirit stone? Yes, sir. There's no mistaking it. That light could not have come from the statue. It was from Justin. Please, Colonel, give me one more chance. This time I won't fail. It's too late. The mist of the forest has begun to close again. But, Colonel, I could. I could get it in time. That is an order, Lieutenant. You sacrifice yourself too much. Be more cautious. Yes, Colonel Mullen, I understand. That boy. Justin. I'll get him. I'll get him myself. Whoa. Oh! Justin! Justin, are you okay? You made such a loud noise when you fell. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Maria's just a little sore. Uh, but I wonder. Oh, damn it! Did that break to go to light? It looks like most of it was taken away. I promise I would protect it, and I'm afraid I've let down the village. But I got up to pieces. I'll help you, Justin. We'll make. Sincere apology to the village chief. Well, is that going to work out, huh? Oh, you're here, safe and sound. My order, order leaf. I must apologize, chief. Uh, I tried to retrieve the statue, but as you can see, it was broken. Not even half of it remains. The God of Light statue is a broken mess now. No, it, it is not. It's okay the way it is. It's okay the way it is. No matter how it ended, the fact is that you fought for Luke Village. For that, you have our utmost thanks. As thank you gifts, please accept this. Miss Clearing Nut acquired. Huh? Really? Are you sure we can have this, Chief? But, but Chief, sir, you said the Miss Clearing Nuts are very valuable and you're not to be given away to outsiders. For a long, long time. We have hidden behind a wall of mist in this forest, cut off from the world. However, by doing that, we have not had contact with great people like you. That has not been a wise policy. Now when I think about it, the mist has enshrouded both Luke, Village, and the, heart of our, and the hearts of us villagers. We must learn to turn our eyes outward to the outside world as you do. It may take a while for us to do it. By the time Rem and the other children become adults, I'm sure we will come to know and understand outsiders. 
Hey, I understand them even now. Justin and I, and I have already made friend-to-friend -friend promise. Hey, Justin? <laughs> ah, yes, we did. Miles, that's good to hear. Justin, I want you and your friends to know you'll always be welcome here. Well, that... went well. I guess. So... So you guys are going across the misty forest to the end of the world. I miss you guys a lot. Rem. I want to be in an adventure when I grow up, just like you guys. Yeah, sure, Rem. Maybe next time we'll, we'll take you with us. Justin, I promise you I'll become an adventurer. I'll cross the misty forest and even the end of the world. You bet, Rem. We'll be waiting for you on the other side of the end of the world. We've been shut off from uh, wonderful people such as you. This village must become more open to the world. It may take some time, but I think everyone will agree to this eventually. We'll do our best to help. We hope you'll achieve this new goal. Hey, cool. We'll have the village. We got the stuff that we needed. I fell on my bottom real hard. That's like... 75% good things. Alright then. Uh, let's head back down the mountain. And then... Towards... The end of the world. Oh man, I'm so hyped for the end of the world. You don't even know. <laughs> oh, that'll be so cool. I've been waiting for it. But yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that probably in the next episode. Or in the episode after that, I don't know. When we'll get to the end of the world. Alright, we're back at Luke Village. I'll save. I'll end the episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you check back with me next time. Next episode video stream. Whatever that will be. And until then. See ya.